Hello! In this video we're going to have a quick look at how to create a recovery certificate for file encryption. Basically, in our previous video we showed how to encrypt files and also back up your own user certificate. Now, in case you want an overall recovery certificate that basically can be used to recover all the encrypted files on a computer, okay, you basically want to create a recovery agent certificate. Now, how do we do that? We basically go into PowerShell. How do we get a PowerShell? Go there, type in PowerShell, and then you open it up. You can open it up as administrator. That's fine. Okay, and now we get here. Now we type in Cypher. Okay, we've gone back to the C drive. The root drive is easy for now, just to kind of like create it and then get the certificate. Okay, so C, Cypher, forward slash R, colon, recovery certs. That's the name we've given it. Okay, click enter. Okay, give it a password, obviously a secure password. We're making it something simple, just in this case, because it's just a demo. Okay, there we go. Now, you need to open up your local security policy editor. By doing that, you go into secpol.msc. Okay, click on that. It brings up that. Then in public key policies, encrypting file system, right click on it, add recovery agent. Next, go to the folder. We saved it on the C drive itself. Okay, it was actually right there. There we go. Okay, click open. Do you want to install the certificate? That's fine. Click next. Click finish. Okay, now this thing is actually good for administrators and even the home users. Okay, it gives you that ability to go, for example, employees encrypt their files. If an employee leaves the company or whatever and their file is still there, you need to unencrypt it. Or if you need to kind of like for corporate policies, view encrypted files, this gives you that ability to go in there. Okay, also for the home user, in case you forget you know your file you take your files with you you move them to the computer and if you needed for example to read them over there this is also going to help you hope this helps thank you very much